Hello everyone and welcome to episode 137 of Animal Crossing New Horizons. In the last episode, we participated in the July bug off and in this episode, we are going to look for the scarab beetle and the uh, giant stag. I finally got up early enough to do it. Anyway, today's birthday is Curly, a, a cute looking pig. Anyway, let's start. Also, I think there's a delay, but I I'm cutting this close, so I'm not going to do anything about it. Mainly because I don't care. It's not a big enough delay to for me to worry about it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, uh, remind me I said that if I get angry about the delay and the future of the episode. Good morning, everyone! <laughs> Right now on Jacktown, it's 7.30 a.m. on Sunday, July 26th, 2020. They leave at 8. I don't really have any big news to share today. But it is the start of a new week, and I hope it lives up to each and every one of your expectations. Well then, Isabel, signing off. Okay, bye-bye, Isabel. Bye-bye, Isabel. I need uh, to do this fast, because I have... You know what? There's a lot of stuff I want to do. I'll do that after I can't look for the bug anymore. All right, we get to listen to this cool music. Like, I'll check for all my thing. Oh, right, KK's here. Like, I'll listen for all my things. Like, I mean, I'll do my, uh, I'll look for my bugs first. Uh, then I do the... Um, other stuff like going to the store and checking my mail. You know what? How about we do that first, actually? Oh, it's right, it's closed. The store's closed because it's too early. So I can't do it. Oh, that's a drone beetle. I mean. At least beetles are out, but that's not the right beetle. Okay, is it in here? No. Come on, beetles. Work with me, beetles. Come on. Work with me. Whoa, that's another golden stag. So yeah, that's not that's not one of the beetles that we're looking for, but it is a it is a golden stag, and that is like I'm pretty sure rare. So why is it every time I wake up early I find a golden stag? Come on, just... Okay, I know how like he has a pattern, and I'm just going with whatever I got. And I caught him. Well, so we were to see the Emperor Butterfly out at daytime. And my net breaks. Right, um... The bug off was yesterday, so my net... Has to be at low durability. <laughs> Right, while I'm going back to the ta Oh, right. Hey, Daisy May. Okay, while I'm going back to the town area, I better not see any of these beetles. All right, I gave a uh, a mom my an extra uh, umbrella that I got <laughs> from the bug off yesterday. Oh yeah, last time on the bug off, I. Pretty much for the entire time was looking for a a cockroach slash centipede toy for my new toy area. And I didn't get one. Well, I got them both off screen, which is good. But it took me a while. Like, I was thinking, like, right after I stopped recording, it would have just, like, 
I would have just gotten it right away. But nope, it took me like even longer than that. It took me like, well, a, a, pr a little long, I'd say. I should crash some, oh God, this delay is like so stupid. I wish I had the time to actually fix the delay, but I don't. I mean, like, um, I'm kind of on a time scrunch. You know, there's times when the delay is really bad, but times like now, it's not really bad. You're probably not even seeing any of the delay. Oh, but the sound is delayed. That sounded so weird. Anyway, I want to check what this is. The message bottle. Coconut... What? Juice? Co coconut juice? Is that what it said? Sorry, just go through it so fast. Oh, that's nice. I need, I need a coconut for that. I might consider crafting that a little later. Okay. Where are these bugs? Come on. Whoa! Um. Double leaf bug. Whoa! Double leaf bug. Come on, double leaf bug! Okay, bugs that move around are hard to catch with a delay. Good to know. I thought I heard Daisy May yawning. Yes, I did. Wrong beetle. Get out of here. Alright, I'm gonna check the other side. Oh, Rosalina Batassi beetle, but those aren't new. Right, like, I have like literally five, this day plus five more days to catch these two beetles before the end of July. And I wanna, and my goal for every month is to catch every new creature by the end of it and usually i succeed with tons of time to spare but the like july was just so hard because of how many rare things come out along with the new diving and just so much so much to distract me from like beetles like this and I may only be missing two but they're two hard ones well, <laughs> my am a stag you're not a giant stag don't 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 like don't be flexing like that it looked like that bug was just flexing like ooh, ooh. When really, he shouldn't have been flexing because he's not a, he's not a big beetle. Anyway, these bugs can spawn on anything. Well, not anything, but I mean like any type of tree. The palm tree or the normal tree. That's why I'm checking like everywhere. Oh, hermit crab. Come on, oh, Daisy May. I thought it was, I thought it was her. Okay, nothing up there. Daisy May keeps scaring me because I'm not used to seeing her. I think that was just it. I think that was just the giant stag. Uh, or it could have been a giraffe stag. Let's hope it wasn't just a giraffe stag. And most people would get angry at me for that uh, statement. But for me, giraffe stags aren't as hard as 
these guys. Wait. What are you? Whoa, that's the scarab beetle. <laughs> okay, so that's one of them. Oh, that's scary. Like, look at that. It's a it's a beautiful beetle. It looks very similar to the fruit beetle. Right, better not mess this thing up. Balloon. Not the time, balloon. Yeah! And the catch sound was delayed too. <laughs> Okay, so that's one of them. Only one more thing for July, and then we're done for the month. Right, I caught the scarab beetle, just a dung beetle with better hobbies. Anyway, let's check the Critterpedia for that. And then after this is all over, we can check the mail. <laughs> I'm a. You see, if I would have checked the mail, I might not have been able to catch that. Look at that. That's a really cool bug. I don't know why I'm getting rid of my net. I don't need to worry about scorpions or tarantulas or anything that could attack me right now. So yeah. Scare a beetle down. Now it's just giant stag. You know, back back in the last game, New Leaf, the scare beetle... No, back in, like, since uh, the scare beetle... Like, I think, just whatever. Like, the Scarab Beetle was a really forgotten bug until this game. Like, this game, it's gotten at least recognition. But in past games, it was just, oh, it's the, it's the yellow drone, the yellow fruit beetle. Because, yeah, the drone beetle used to be called the fruit beetle, and basically that's all it was, a yellow fruit beetle. Whoa, it's a giraffe stag. Again, rarer than what we're looking for, but not what we're looking for. Let's look for it. Let's go after it anyway. And then we'll go after that Nook Miles achievement. Oh! Eh, whatever. I got, I got what I'm looking for. I don't need extra bounties. Even though I did get an extra bounty with that golden stag. Okay, I need to catch a wharf roach. Do you think I'm gonna... Do you think I need to catch a wharf roach right now? Game. Do you honestly think that that's something that I'm going to go after right now? Anyway, the reason I caught that evening cicada is because... Well, uh, I want my entire crew here at the drive-in movie theater to all be cicadas. So I wanted one of each cicada. Now I have all four of the July cicadas... Now I just need one more that will appear in August. And I'm not including the cicada shell because it doesn't make any noise and it's not f as fun because it doesn't make noise. And plus, how would it help? I mean, like, it just sits there. It's not even alive. So yeah, we found the scarab beetle on the regular tree. Okay, there's a dro- there are two drone beetles, and drone beetles, like, block up the spawn rates for the, for the other guys, so I have to scare them away, you know. Come on. You know, you know, giant stag. I might be able to name the episode after you if you pop out. Or do you want me to name it after Scarab Beetle? Because he was cooperative. So maybe I just will name it after Scarab Beetle. Because he's... Because he seems to be the nice one here. He, he, he agreed with our, with our efforts. And you can be in the thumbnail of the episode. You, you know what? You can. Just You just need to show up. That's all I need. And I, oh wait, no, I, I, I need some more. I need to catch you. I need to actually catch you and to donate you. But 
Pass that. Nothing. Nothing else. You just gotta show up. And you'll be in the thumbnail of the episode. Promise. Promise. Jack promise. Jack promise. Oh, as you can see up there, I renovated the, uh... And, uh... Uh, toy plaza area and basically everything in my mail is stuff I ordered for it and we'll get to that later after after we can't catch them anymore and it's decided that the either if the giant stag is in the thumbnail or not wait what are you horn dynastid you are not what we're looking for. Okay. You who? No one down there. Right, check at the other side. Okay, so I'm glad we caught the scarab beetle. I hope we can catch the other one too, the giant stag. Oh, right, I gotta check what song I have today. Ooh, wait a second. I gotta check for this one, because I don't think I have it. Sorry, guys, I just gotta check. Because this thing is quick and easy, I can do it now. Anyway. Okay, where are the KK? So, uh. Where does KK start? Okay, so it starts here. Okay, gotta go in the D's. Oh, I think that's I think that's new then. It's new. We got a new song. KK Dixie. Oh yeah, we're getting a new song tomorrow. Like, I think it's been a while. Oh, we're gonna get two new songs tomorrow because I have because uh, I can get a KK song. Anyway, now that we're done with that little thing. Let's go over to this beach and see if there are any giant stags. Hey, giant stag. Scarab beetle's gonna be in the thumbnail. Oh, I thought that was him for a second. I was thinking like, oh. He's not up there. He's not there. Right. We still have a lot of time. We still have like 13 minutes left. That's a good amount of time for one little giant stag. <laughs> one little giant stag. Anyway, for one giant stag, I think that's a good amount of time. I don't know. I don't know if the giant stack is any more rare. I think it might be, because it seems likely. I mean, like, the scarab beetle is basically just a knockoff fruit beetle. And not fruit beetle. Now I'm calling it fruit beetle again. Knockoff drone beetle. Wow, the giant stag is a knockoff Miami stag. Have I ever said how much I love this music? It's a really good get up and be happy theme. Maybe I should get up this early every day. Or maybe not. Right. Oh, what? There's a giant water bug at day. Wow, these beetles are just... I mean, like, all these bugs are just... Acting... That was another giraffe stag. You see, giraffe stags aren't hard. Oh, and that's a shark. And I don't have a fishing rod. Great. 
and I'm not gonna be able to make one so like in time so I'll just go to the easiest area to make a fishing rod instead cuz uh wait what is that to my mistake right like there's no place close enough to get a fishing rod so I'm just gonna just make one now just in case I find anything you know what no I'm not dealing with fish now I like fish. Fish are cool and all. But today, we are going with bugs. Bugs, bugs, bugs. No fish. Oh, we got lucky and got the scarab beetle early on, but now the giant stag is not showing up. Oh! But there's a blue weevil beetle. That's another rare bug that is showing up. And now I have enough blue weevil beetle to get a blue weevil beetle model because I also got one yesterday from the bug off. <laughs> Your episode was like two weeks ago, blue weevil beetle. It's not your turn. Give someone else a chance. Come on, blue weevil beetle. Dude, don't be acting like that. Right. It's still better than, uh... It's still better than, uh, like a drone beetle. Because, like, it's at least rare. But still, I really... I really need to see this giant stag. Horn Dynastid, stop! Like, how many times this episode has a Horn Dynastid tricked me to think it's a giant stag? Whoa, that's a giant stag. Right there. And it's in the worst position possible. Look how big and chunky that thing is. Right. Net out. Okay, I gotta do this slow, cause I got, it's like an operation. Operation Extract Giant Stag. Right. First, I gotta remove the anchovy. Blocking the way. Oh good, that didn't scare it away. Right. Yes. Boom! July has been completed, and we got the giant stag. Finally, we have gotten everything in July. Whoa! I caught a giant stag. I'm going to need way bigger pockets. Actually, no, I am not, because giant stag is puny compared to some of the other beetles. Anyway, yep, that is everything in July, and that is also the last rare bug ever in New Horizons. That is right, for the rest of the game, we only have easy bugs left. And look at this, like, look at, look at all these rare bugs that we've gotten. It all started with the rainbow stag, right? It all started with the rainbow stag, and then we just built from there. Oh man, we got them both, by the end of the day. I mean, by the end of the hour. Anyway, wow, look, they're right next to each other, too. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that means there's only nine bugs left, by the way. Okay, I can place back the anchovy. So yeah, July has been completed, and in non-record timing, and worst time ever. Like, this took me the longest, and I am no, and I am not surprised one bit. I mean, we got so so many cool things to look we got so many cool things that we had to look after we got all those big palm tree bugs we got a, like a napoleon fish and an ocean sunfish we got an entire new category the diving creatures so yeah i'm happy we were able to complete it by the end of the month oh wow we have so much Including from the Happy Home Academy. I thought, like, I was done with that. Because I got the golden trophy. Let's do theirs first. S rank. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. 
Anyway, you can see the stuff down there is, has to do with the toy area. Anyway, I got a... What? What is this? Oh! That's a pretty nice. Anyway. Let's do the one from... Let, let's just get all, the, all these out of the way. So I ordered a, a toy box, a baby chair, a mama bear, a papa bear, and a baby bear. Now I'll get to that later. Okay, it's peaches. This is it, Spud. I've been told so many times that I take things too seriously. So I'm going to really try to loosen up from now on. I'm going to be more like spontaneous. I mean, I mean I'm going to be more spontaneous, less stuck on rules and recipes. I'm serious. Oh, rethinking this now. Peaches. <laughs> oh, peaches. Okay, so I ordered a toy box, a baby chair, a mama bear, a baby bear, and a papa bear. You may be asking, but Jack, why do you need a mama bear, a baby bear, and a papa bear? You already have all three of them. Well, all three of them combined equals something amazing. So yeah, if you get a mama bear, papa bear, and a baby bear. Oh yeah, I changed the music. Anyway, if you get all three of them. Where is it? Where did it go? Probably down here, actually. Here it is, the giant teddy bear. You need one mama bear, one papa bear, one baby bear for it. And I got all three of those, so I could build a bigger bear. So I could build a bigger bear. Let's do it. Ha <laughs> ha! So yeah, I renovated. Let's go check out the renovations now. Plus, adding all the new stuff that I ordered. I then will do our villager crafting. Oh wait, Daisy May is here, but oh, oh there's a shark. I should have gotten a fishing rod. Right, now that I'm laid, laid back more that I, because I caught both of the things I need, I can uh, craft a fishing rod. But right now I want to check, show you the renovations that I made. As you can see, I added a lot of uh, the toys that I wasn't really using. Even some of the toys that I were using, I used. Um, <laughs> but that's okay, because like they're better, they're better off here. I mean, like it's a better place for toys anyway as you can see i have cockroach toys and a set i mean i have a cockroach toy and a centipede toy I, and i added a bunch of more other toys and just like made the whole area bigger anyway right here i wanted to put uh the toy box so that looks good there and right there i want to put the baby chair and the giant teddy bear has to go here. Because it's huge. I can't even turn this thing around. Oh, yes, I can. Never mind, then. Look at that. Look at the... Oh, and each of them has a different design. Oh, except for the baby bear and the big bear have different designs, I guess. I said each of them have a different design. Oh, wait, no, they don't. Anyway, I have to move this to make sure that this is closest to the wall as possible yes yes it is oh by the way this little uh cart look at it look this is so cute like it actually works if you push it anyway so yeah that is the completed toy area and mm, it looks so good in my opinion like oh i'm just so happy with how this turned out wobble a zipper toy wobble a uh, bobblehead. Wobble a bobble. Anyway, now that all of that is taken care of, let's uh, check for my villager crafting, because that's something I still need to do. Oh, great purple emperor. Hey, let's catch it just for the, just for the heck of it. 
I like how the music abruptly stops when you catch a bug. Or fish. Wait, what's that? Just a saw stag. I don't even need to scare it away now, because, like... It, it, it can be here without... Uh, it can be here... Well, uh... Like, it can't be here because I don't need to spawn those bugs anymore. Anyway, is it goose crafting? No. Okay, is it Peter's crafting? Peter sent me a really nice note, so I hope it's her crafting. I don't know why if somebody sends me a good note, that means I want them to craft, but yeah, I do. It's not peaches, they're both drinking coffee. I guess because it's really early. I don't drink coffee. I drink hot chocolate. And the hour has changed, which means we can go to the store. And it, but it, but uh, we're not going to the store yet because we're going to uh, check for our villager crafting. And it's not him. <laughs> Why is it not new? Well, you're not crafting. Anyway, anyway, I've, while uh, doing all this, I have proven that it is possible to catch the early bugs without having a perfect. Wait, no, I'm, wait, wait, it's it's possible to catch the early bugs while having a delay on your video. Is it really the last villager I'm checking, Nate? Are you serious? Is this actually? Is this actually a thing? Am I actually gonna have to look? Is it actually the last villager I check? No! It, then it has to be Sky, I guess. Oh, I just noticed something! All my lazy villagers are in a row. Like, all three of my lazy villagers are in a row. Clay, Nate, and Clyde are all in a row. I am gonna eventually move Clyde's house because that was an accident. And if you remember, that used to be Klaus's lot. And that was an accident too. I, I mean like, not actually Klaus moving here wasn't an accident. I mean like, it was on purpose so I could, so I could uh, <laughs> progress in the game. But I accidentally placed it in the wrong area. So yeah, not only did I have a villager I didn't like, but I also had a wonky house. So yeah, none of the things can spawn now. No giraffe stag, no golden stag, no scarab beetle, no giant stag. Anyway, yeah, we have a complete... We, t by the end of this episode, we're going to have a complete July museum, except for the art exhibit. We have a complete July exhibit and everything else, because uh, the, th th the other thing is complete. The fossil exhibit is complete. Right, there's a lot of stuff here. I kind of want to buy this. I don't know why. I know I already have one, but I like plants. <coughs> I'm buying another one. Anyway, nothing else really suits my fancy. Yeah, I waited. I waited for the next hour for that. <laughs> for a plant. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice plant. See, I did do that. <laughs> anyway, this music is good too. I don't think it's as good as the other theme though. Anyway. But that's... Oh. Uh, my dog is making weird sounds. I hope he doesn't throw up because this is the sounds that he's make that he makes when uh, he 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 decides that he wants to throw up. So yeah. <laughs> oh, Pluto, are you okay? Oh, assistant's massaging him, so everything's okay. But I'm just worried about him. Anyway, uh. Yeah, it's not gonna be a full museum for the time for long, because August is already really soon, and I can't believe it took me this long to catch all these things. It's already almost August, like, 
like I said, I have this day and five more days of July. You know what? Um, we have a little bit more time in this episode. How about we really complete July? Okay, um, Pluto is... Um, Pluto, are you okay? Oh, I'm so worried about my dog. Right, uh, one second. I gotta go check on him. Sorry. Pluto, are you okay? Are you okay, puppy? Are you okay? Oh, you're okay, Poochie. Okay. Oh, he's like wagging his tail while he's throwing up. This is so weak. <laughs> like, it's like he's happy while he's doing it. Like, he's making throwing up sounds, but he's not throwing up. Okay, I think Moses just said he wanted to go outside. Okay, uh, we fixed that. Now, uh, let's continue on with the day. Oh, and now he's barking! Oh, it's just constant noise with this dog. Right, what I was gonna say is, how about we, uh, you know what, never mind. I was gonna say let's complete July completely and uh, go after the bugs that are going away this month, because if you don't know, I'm trying to get every single model from Flick slash CJ, and every month I uh, catch all the bugs that are going away. So I can stockpile them for for later. So so uh, when they go away, I can still make a model of them. Anyway, yeah. So um, yeah, I don't know what to do for the rest of the episode. Uh, oh right, yesterday Gulliver was here, and I didn't check uh, for. Um, rusted parts. Hopefully there it's still there. Oh yes, it is still here, along with a sapling. Oh, free sapling. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I missed a day in my daily Nook Miles thing, so I have to start all over. Whatever. Anyway, it seems like we're running out of time in this episode, so how about we go over to the we head on over to the museum and we uh, donate the things to get a complete July bug exhibit. So yeah, these are the last rare bugs that we'll ever be donating to the museum because from now on it's only easy ones. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, and I... Okay, yeah, they're just easy ones like dragonflies and butterflies and locusts and all those sorts of easy types left. So yeah, let's uh, talk to Blathers and actually donate something. Ooh. It's been a while, Blathers. Yeah, pardon me. Yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been a while since we've uh, actually donated something from Blathers. What's the water, Jack? Donated, so donated something from Blathers, donated something to Blathers. That's what I meant to say. Welcome to the Jack Town Museum. How may I be of service? Oh, I miss talking to Blathers every day. Like, ever since I, gotten, I got a full fossil exhibit, I, I, I don't talk to him every day, because, like... I have a full fossil exhibit. Marvelous, what would you like to donate? So, let's donate this one first. Scarab beetle. Eek! The scarab beetle, what a wretched thing. Oh, yes, I'm obliged to ask. Would you like to learn more about this specimen? Please tell me! Oh, I see. In that case... <coughs> Collectors consider the scarab beetle quite the prize, thanks to its shiny metallic shell. But did you know this bug has no nose and uses its antenna to sense smells instead? Um, <clears throat> no. <clears throat> That's awesome! Good job, scarab beetle! In fact, the scarab beetle's plated antenna are quite unique and sets it apart from other beetles. 
but all antennae are equally awful in my book. Anywho, I consider things with a donation that the bugs that have made in my existence. It's true, the rich thing will get the best of care. Yeah. Is there anything else I can help you with? See, I said I named the episode, uh. Um. Oh. I, I know what I know what I want to name the episode. I said the like I said the giant stack will be in the thumbnail, but I know what's going to be the name of the episode. Early boy gets the bug. <laughs> or no, early bird gets the bug. Early bird early bird gets the bug. I was gonna do like early boy because I'm a because I'm a not a bird. I'm a boy. So. Yeah. Oh, I'm wearing a bird shirt. <laughs> so I guess early bird still works. Eek! A giant stack! What a wretched thing! Uh, so I'm obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about this specimen? Please tell me. The last specimen of July. The last rare creature. Uh, I see. In that case, um, it is said the giant and the, stag is a popular pet among pet bug enthusiasts. And the last stag! Don't worry, you only have to deal with things with not big pincers. You only have to deal with bugs with no pincers from now on, or whatever they're called. Like, jaws, the jaws. I was, just, I was going to go with a scientific, but I should stop being scientific and just, and just be serious. Though so how one might consider oneself enthusiastic about bugs is quite beyond me. But I digress. I'm enthusiastic about bugs. I love bugs. I want to be an entomologist. Giant stags look fearsome with their enormous curved mandibles, but in truth, they're really quite cowardly. Oh, that's good for you, because if they see a big owl chasing after them, they'll be scared. Oh, how they love to hide away in rotting wood, only to reveal themselves under the cover of dark. Hoot! I shall never turn off the lights again. Any hoot! I sincere thanks for your donation and no bugs that made my existence rest assured that the wretched thing will get the best of care here. Yeah. Is there anything else I can help you with? Really good. Please enjoy the rest of your visit. So, I don't know where, where these beetles are going to be. Um... Oh, there are some trees left. I, I think there are some trees left over here. No. Is it like around here? Oh, look, there's the scarab beetle on this tree. Oh, and the giant stag will join the fight. Uh, is The giant stag is going to join the fight because if you don't know, the big bugs fight at night. Anyway, there is the scarab beetle. July 29th. Wow, look at that. That is cool. That is cool. Now, let's see. Where... Is it on the big palm trees with the other bugs? I don't think so. I mean, like, that space... I don't think there's any space left. Yeah, there's no space left. Are they on here? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that. It's just there. It's just sitting on this tree. Well, look at that. That is a cool bug. I like how it's just sitting there. Like, it's this big beetle and it's just sitting right in the open. I thought you said they were coward blathers. But no, it's just sitting right in the open. Right. Is it going to be with the... Which side is it going to be? I'm guessing it's going to be this one because it's closest to it. Yeah. So, I thought this was the sign for just uh, stump bugs. But apparently it's stump bug and giant stag. But anyway, thank you for watching this episode. In the next episode, we are going to try to catch some of the creatures that are going away this month and stockpile them so I can get models of them. But anyway, thank you for watching this episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey awesome viewers, thank you for watching Jack's Junction. Please like and subscribe, it would really help the channel out. Keep me in awesome.
Oh, lately I just re I, I just realized something. Lately I haven't been doing impressions, and I feel like this is like going to be a July only thing. So and so if this is the last bug for July, then I need to do an impression. One last impression. Giant stag. You know I did stag impressions before. How about scarab beetle impression? I don't know what sound scarab beetles make. So I'll just do this. Because it looks like that's what they're doing while they're sitting on that tree. <laughs>